Hi guys, it's Jen Evers, and I know you can hear the dinging in the background, but this really cool looking, I don't know, fake leather or whatever it is, um, book that I got from a garage sale, I thought I would, I think it's supposed to be some kind of old scrapbook, I'm pretty sure, it's got like some little corner tabs still in there, but it's all black, like cardstock paper inside, and um, it's got that rustic old kind of vibe to it. I'm going to use this. I'm going to turn it into kind of a junk journal slash art journal and I'm going to do some altered minute, like multimedia art in here. So I'm going to do a project in there today and I'm going to gather some stuff and then I'm going to get started. So first off I decided that um, like most videos you see I'm going to start off with some gesso. I'm just going to just over the top of it and I won't always do that but I just wanted to try that for the first page so when I'm done with this I will come back. I recently got this acrylic modeling paste and I've been wanting to try out doing some more texturized stuff. By the way I did about two coats of that gesso. It's just about dry, yeah mostly. And um, yeah, I'm hoping it doesn't like totally warp this paper. It's not the best quality, but that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, after walking around swearing at myself and getting my husband's attention wondering what is going on, I did find it. So I'm just going to like squirt this. Ew, it's like toothpaste. Check it out. I'm just going to squirt some on there and I think I'm going to need a lot more than that because it's going to be pretty thick. I won't be able to, you know, I never thought of that. I won't be able to close the the um, cover all the way anymore, but I think it'll be okay. Let's see if I can get it mostly inside that that butterfly. This one, this stencil is pretty thick. I don't know, maybe an eighth of an inch thick. Maybe more than that. I think I'm going to have to, I don't want it totally completely as thick as this actual stencil is, but I'm going to try to try to get into, try to try to, I'm going to try to try to get it in to all the nooks and crannies so that when I lift this off, you still see the image of the butterfly, but it won't be like totally flat. Not 100%, but I'll do my best. Close enough. Oh, that's going to be cool, isn't it? That's really cool. So I learned that this stuff takes quite some time to dry because I'm kind of, I think I got a, like a air pocket in there, but it's still, I don't know, maybe it is dry. Maybe it dries with that kind of, it's like, oh, maybe that's not quite dry. Kind of, it's kind of squishy. I don't know, but I'm going to give it a little bit more time to dry. And while I'm waiting, I'm going to use the stamp set. I really like these, uh, what are those, like, after, oh, I'm not even going to take a stab at it, I don't know what they're called, but they look really cool, so I'm going to pull off, I don't know, one or two of those, I like the big one, let's see, yeah, I'll probably use both, but I'm going to just stamp some of those on there with black black ink. I'm just using a Memento Tuxedo Black. I should be using my stays on because I have a feeling this is going to turn colors, but yeah, maybe I should. I think I'm going to change my mind and use stays on. The reason I want to use the stays on is because, well, I, mean, I hope I get a nice dark image because sometimes I don't. It's not, my, my ink's not that wet, but um, I don't like to use the stays on all the time because it dries out and you know, I've already complained about that enough. Oh, I think this will work pretty great. But I, Maybe you remember that butterfly I made, if you follow my videos at all, and the butterfly ended up to be, I don't know, it like, changed colors, the branch and stuff, and I think that was because I used Memento ink, and, um, <laughs> I just have to say that putting this underneath that butterfly going out, it kind of looks like he farted and it made him go faster. <laughs> oh, I can't help it, I have to share with you what I'm thinking. That's hilarious. I did, while you were, while I was off camera, I added this extra green mat underneath my working surface, because I realized that the, um, you know, I guess the moisture from this stuff, as I was heating it with my heat gun, because I'm, I'm not that patient, uh, it was seeking, seeking, it was not seeking, it was seeping, it was seeking the next page, that's for sure, but, um, seeping on, and I really didn't want that. I like to keep my pages, you know, some I don't know, maybe, some kind of sentiment is, is popping out on, on me right here. I'm not sure what it is yet, but that's, I'm going to stop there. 
I'm gonna switch to the smaller one and put a couple of those on. Some of these might get covered up. That's what I'm thinking. So I don't, I don't want to cover like the whole page with these. Some of them will be covered up, but I don't know. I don't know if you're the type of person that likes to hear somebody ramble or doesn't like to hear somebody ramble, but I'm trying to share some of my process with you when I'm thinking when I'm doing these kind of creations. Like I said, my sentiment is like screaming out at me like, don't be here. I always put some of, when you're, when you're doing this kind of work, I always put some that go off your page so it looks like it's more of a continuous, like spread out kind of continuous work and not just, you plop some stuff in the center of your page and that's where it ends. I mean, if that's what you're going for, that's super awesome, but that's not the look I'm going to go for. I think that's enough. I think that's all I want of those. And behold, there is but a little tiny one that I didn't see. Look at the tiny one. I'm gonna do some of those. How cute! Cute, cute. Aww, that's so fun. I really like that. All right, I'm thinking I need some more like patterned, some kind of pattern. I don't know. I want to do a little bit of this and kind of grunge it up a little bit. So I've decided I'm just going to use my old olive um, Stampin' Up ink. And I'm just going to see where that gets me as far as color goes. I'm just going to use uh, I don't know, a ranger thing. And you can really start to feel the texture now when I use this. It's cool. I have one of those water brushes with just plain water in the barrel and I'm going to drip some on here just to see what that will do. Oh, it'll totally, because of the gesso, let me move that around and make it more of a watercolory. y um, I don't know, like, more like a, yeah, like a wash. I kind of like that. I'm going to dribble some more and I'm going to just kind of go with the flow. I can get closer to the butterflies that way. That's nice. I like that. These um, water brushes are really fun to have, but if you don't have the means or you just don't um, you just don't want to spend the money and totally that way. I don't like to spend the money on stuff that I can use other things for or um, I would use another, I would just use a regular brush and just dip it into water or get a little Mr. Mister or just a plain old dollar store sprayer and just lightly mist the spray on and then use just any kind of paintbrush to do this. So how about a dab of pearly pink I don't know, just, I think pink is what, what it's saying to me. Sometimes it's hard to tell, but I know that um, if I make a mistake, you know, not a mistake, but you know, like, I get it down and I say, oh, that's not what I wanted. I can always change that over. There are ways in multimedia to cover things up, change it around, do it again. So you're never really stuck with anything unless it stays on. <laughs> stays on is pretty permanent. Although I'm, I'm almost positive Jessel will cover that stuff up too. I'm trying to just stay on the, um, the top of the butterfly and not go too far, you know, down at the bottom. I may add some accent, I'm not sure. It would be nice to act. I'm not really good with, um, like people that can draw or Copic color that can create that depth and that shadow. That's not something I'm super good at, so I'm not sure how far I'll go with that, if I'm going to add all that in or not. Totally have way more pink than I needed. So I'm going to finish these up and I may double coat them and then um, I'll come back. I think I do need a bit of shadow around these. I just want to make them stand out a little bit more so I'm going to attempt to add just a bit of purple. It's not a lot. Um, it's another metallic paint but it looks on here like it's almost just a clear shiny paint and not even a purple. Let's see if I can hit the sides a bit. Wow. 
kind of cool. It's not, it's just barely noticeable. add a little bit more and I'm just gonna bring it out randomly so it's not such a you know, perfectly straight line around there. Kind of like that. Just about used up all that purple. I'm gonna add a bit of um, this other color green. It never squirts where you want it to squirt. <laughs> Just gonna add a little bit here and a little bit there. So my purpose in adding that is to detract a little bit from the fact that that purple was just too strikingly purple. I didn't care for that. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to blur the lines, I guess. That's working out really well. So I decided to add some um, like metal, I don't know, metal decorations kind of a swirl sort of a thing, but just randomly. So I'm just gonna, I wasn't even sure if this marker would go on here, but it is a permanent marker. It just happens to be a metallic one. To bring kind of the metallic look of that purple peat, you know, that I put down a little bit more outside of that part. Whatever it is, it kind of dried up my marker a little bit. So I got that chalky stuff. Oh, too much of it on there. But I do like the swirls, they're kind of neat. There, it's coming again. I just need to wipe a little bit of it off, I guess. Yeah, this outer part here, oh, there we go. Where it gets kind of chalky, it gets a little tough. But I've heard that's been the case. It's been, I've heard that it's hard to get markers and things to draw in here, but um, I've also heard that it's typical for um, like Sharpies and stuff to work just fine. So I took a chance that this would work. I'm adding another color of like a metallic color but just to the like under shadowed sides of these just to make them stand out a little bit more. I don't really like the yellow. It was supposed to be more of a gold but um, I might be able to play on that with some other part that I add. It gives me another color to work in like maybe spring another yellow or bringing in, you know, some kind of an other color so it's not all so green. That's kind of cool. I'm going to try some of that yellow. So these little mini misters, um, I just filled with a Reitinkers and a little bit of alcohol and a little bit of water. And that's about it. I'm going to take some of this and dab up just a little bit of that. It's pretty, pretty
pretty bold color. <laughs> Too much though, I still want some of it to show through. That's kind of cool. to add in a little bit of that black that I wanted as a contrast I'm gonna just put these on with a little bit of hot glue And this, this stuff like totally dried, squishy. It's not super hard. I don't know, maybe it'll get that way with time. I'm not sure. I like the look of that. And a little bit of the black. And a little bit of black edging.